Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you all how to do a water test using the API Master Freshwater Test Kit. Um, so we're going to start out here with high range pH. Uh, but first off, you want to fill your test tubes up to the 5 milliliter mark with your tanks of water, of course. Now this test kit only comes with four of the test tubes, um, but it comes with five different tests. So I would recommend doing high range pH first before doing normal pH. And then of course doing your ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate all at the same time. Then if this does not seem accurate, use the normal pH. Um, but in my experience from my work, most people will, will have more high range pH than they do not high range pH. All right, so then what you wanna do is read however, however many drops of the test that you're gonna be performing is so this one has five and well, then i also recommend shaking the bottle a bit before you start just give a few shakes all right so then this one says five so how you want to do this is keep it straight up or straight down rather and then put in five um i'm gonna pause the video and be right back all right and then by that i mean you know hold it like this and then put in five drops that way it makes each drop more uniform all right and then when you got that, put on your cap. And then for high range pH, you just gotta give it a few shakes. Just shake it for a couple of seconds. And then that'll be good. And I usually like to put them right next to the bottle. That way I do not forget which one is which. All right, and then next we will do the next easiest one, which is nitrite. And then you give it a few shakes too before doing it. And uh, again, this one takes five drops. Of course, put your top back on. And then this one, this one you should shake it for five seconds. So one, two, three, four, and five. A little bit extra will not hurt. You want to shake it for at least five seconds. All right, and we will put it right next to the high range pH. All right, then we get the more fun ones. Uh, we will do ammonia, which is actually a bit easier than nitrate. Now this one, and just like nitrate, has two different bottles to it. So of course you want to use bottle number one first, and then bottle number two. Uh, and then for these, you can see it takes eight drops each. So again, we'll give it a bit of a shake. Then we will put in bottle number one. Then after putting bottle number one, put in bottle number two right after. Alright, then you want to shake this for at least five seconds. So one, two, three, four five and a bit extra because that's what I like to do and we will put it by those over there then nitrate is the most fun one fun one to do so right now this is very important to do with nitrate is by number one you can just put in there like normal and after putting in by number one you want to shake this a few times and then before putting in bottle number two on nitrate, you want to shake this bottle vigorously for 30 seconds. And after shaking this bottle for 30 seconds vigorously, add in the drops. And then, then we will shake this bottle after you've added in this. Prime your cap, shake this, then for another minute. Alright, so then after you shake in that for a minute. What you want to do is let it sit here for five minutes. That will let it do its thing. Uh, that will let it react all the way. And then after five minutes, you can uh, use this and see what levels your parameters are at. So I'm going to come back in five minutes and see you then. All right, so it's been about five minutes now, actually a bit over. So we will test high range first here, and it, it, you probably want it to be in a pretty bright room. My room's not so bright right now, and even so you can see it, mine is about 8.2 or so. Uh, that's going off of this one right here, it's about 8.2 high range pH. Uh, it seems like most people in my town have about 8 from what I've noticed, and I'm knocking things over. And that's why you want your cap sign at all times. And the nitrite is zero, which is very good. 
you do not want any nitrite in your tank at all. Next is ammonia, which again you want zero. And you guys can tell that, but it is pretty much pure yellow, uh, which is good. And you do not want any green, so that is zero as well, which is very good. Uh, actually, last week I had a bit of ammonia, and then doing water changes definitely helps. And the nitrate, again, oh, that's actually about zero. It's actually not a bad thing to have about 5 to 10 ppm of nitrate in your water, uh, according to some people. But mine is about zero, which is kind of crazy. Uh, most people have a, at least some. So yeah, that's how you do, and that's how you use the... Fresh water master kit, test kit from API, and pretty much any other type of liquid test kit like this. Just their instructions might be a bit different. Instructions might be a bit different if it is a different brand. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.